have six targets. Our contract is to kill them all. And the client is the general they served under. He wants them dead to keep them from talking. Check a VI on your iDroid for more information. Please select a deployment point. Boss, sorry to keep you waiting. We finally finished analyzing that yellow cake cipher was moving. There was nothing unusual about the composition of the yellow cake itself. Most of it was oxidized uranium, with the rest being impurities, various metals as well as traces of organic matter. What's interesting is the composition of these impurities. When we checked them against the impurities found in the copper ore, it was clear the yellow cake didn't come from Shinkalobwe, meaning they went to the trouble of mining two sources of uranium, then transported them together in different states. Another thing. We detected a very thin layer of highly enriched uranium in That's the... an enemy gunship. A single burst from his machine gun could cut a man in half. Tread carefully, boss. ...of uranium enriching technology. After all, Yellow Cake can't naturally produce highly enriched uranium. If they could match... That's from Heavy Plantation. The targets are mixed in with the soldiers in that base. Use the VI to identify them. ...acquired advanced technology and a large-scale facility. If that kind of place existed in Zaire, the Soviet Union wouldn't sit idly by. And there's another question. Where were they transporting the yellow cake and malachite uranium? The first place that comes to mind is South Africa. The government was supposed to have abandoned Analysis. nuclear weapons development after caving to international pressure. Analysis. But rumors persist Analysis. that it's Analysis. continued in secret. Analysis. Plus, CRS were escorting the truck, and they're based out of South Africa. And then South Africa does have an abandoned test site. If Cypher's involved with nuclear development in South Africa. But how would that fit with their weapon to surpass Metal Gear? We need more information. Shinkalobwe. There's a name I haven't heard in a while. The U.S. bought a lot of uranium from Shinkalobwe mine during World War II for the Manhattan Project. Get down! Should enable you to sneak past enemies. That's how good its uranium must have been. With that, the world's first nuclear test was a success. Shikalobwe uranium might have been used in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs, too. Just hearing its name is like seeing all the phantoms of the war rise up to haunt us. But all the uranium's dried up, and the mine's been closed for years. So someone reopened it. Right. Zero Risk Security seized control of the area and were forcing locals to work in it. And the Zairean government was getting a slice of what they took in exchange for looking the other way. Mobutu has to finance his taste somehow. He'll gladly sell the rights to some old mine. The question is, why would Zero Risk Security do this kind of thing? Or rather, why were their employer, Analysis Cypher, complete. interested in an abandoned mine? Maybe getting trace amounts of uranium into the naked eye it appears to be ordinary malachite meaning security would be lax. Not a very efficient way of obtaining it, but easier to move. But how would they enrich it at its destination? Did the yellow cake really have a layer of highly enriched uranium in it? Having trouble believing it? No. If they say it's real, then it's real. In which case, they might have some enrichment method that we don't know about. And this was to test it out. It's possible. And that would mean it's almost complete. He's coming too. Roger that. When that cargo we stole from Cypher's truck. The PF was transporting two things. The analysis of that malachite has come back first. Naturally, the main compound is copper. There's also a small amount of cobalt. 
Nothing unusual so far. The Southern Zaire is a well-known copper belt. However, in addition to these, we also detected a trace amount of uranium. The content percentage, though, is too low for nuclear development. It most likely came from Shikalobwe mine. That's where the uranium in that area comes from. The mine's closed, as all the high-purity uranium ore dried up a long time ago. But you can probably still find it there in small quantities. That said, there are plenty of other uranium mines that are in operation, like in Niger, Namibia, South Africa. Why go to an abandoned mine to scrape up whatever's left and ship it out in mass quantities without refining it? They were transporting that yellow cake, too, which would suggest they have the technology to refine uranium. Anyway, that about sums it up. Unfortunately, the analysis of that yellow cake is taking a little longer. I'll let you know when it's done. Fire! attack on your unit nine years ago, the name Big Boss has become known the world over. What do you mean? Those of your men who survived traveled far and wide. They fought throughout the world. In fact, they're part of the reason we have all these PFs now. Every one of them suffered their own phantom pain from losing you. Talking about you wherever they went helped to heal their wounds. Your actions and words, your legend, has been told on every battlefield they've set foot on. Obviously, as the tales have spread, the truth's been distorted, painted over. Please Big Boss sacrificed himself to show us the threat that Cypher poses. He sounded a warning, so it goes. A warning? Too much power destroys the hands that hold it. Apparently, you chose to be a living example of that. I never said any of that. The moment any truth is passed on, it starts turning into fiction. The problem is, fiction is... destroyed their anti-air radar? It wasn't one of the targets, but that's put a hole in their air surveillance. Listen the chopper will be able to get in close now. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost. And you know what they all aspire to? To one day go nuclear, just like you did, and stand up to Cypher. Of all the stupid things you could do, they'll never understand what you do. Heroes are misunderstood. It takes a man of the same caliber to understand what drives Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Being like their hero, Big Boss. And deep down, they all have their eyes on nuclear weapons. They say that a nuke is the only means of standing against Cypher. These days, it's becoming little more than a slogan to rally the troops and survive in a cutthroat business. Currently, there are three major PFs who've expanded into Central Africa. CFA, Rogue Coyote, and zero risk security. HEC's investigations have shown there's almost no overlap between their areas of operation. It's not so much a turf war, more like they have a gentleman's agreement. If you do cross paths with them, you probably won't have to face more than one at a time. Still, don't expect to walk in the park. The CFA, Contract Forces of Africa. These guys are a major player. Their head office is in Pretoria, South Africa. That's also where the South African Defense Force is headquartered. We think the two are closely connected. An HEC investigation revealed that most of the CFA's operators are former SADF soldiers. 
South Africa has been locked in struggles with neighboring regimes for years. That means constant action. And we know better than anyone that's the best kind of training. A company drawing its recruits from hardened military vets. You can bet they know how to handle themselves. Do not underestimate them. Within the CFA is a company of soldiers made up mainly of locally hired operators. They speak Afrikaans to communicate with personnel from the CFA. But if you notice any speaking the local language, that's them. Though hired from the local population, they were originally part of a paramilitary group. So And unlike their days shooting junkyard rifles out of beat-up pickup trucks, CFA now supplies them with the latest gear from the West. On top of that, they've been combat trained by the South African Army. All that adds up to a much stronger fighting force. So don't brush them off. Look at the Angola Zaire border region. These Bank of the Muneni River in particular. It's a microcosm of a problem that stretches all across Africa. There's a civil war going on in Angola, fought between the government MPLA and the Western-backed Unida. Zaire is still a dictatorship under President Mobutu. A numerous uprisings have broken out in its remote... He's region. coming too. Roger that. ...elsewhere keeping their hands full. Neither government has control over their side of the border. They depend on militias and PS, as do the rebels. Government forces, guerrillas, militants, groups of all shapes and sizes hawk whatever resources they can to hire PFs. Conflict Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. And more conflicts erupt in a continuous chain reaction. <laughs> Sounds like our kind of work. Mother base could grow by leaps and bounds. Unit function added. Please select a deployment. Please select a deployment point. You gotta extract him.
Please select a drop point. Supplies requested. Buddy has infiltrated our map has been updated. Extraction arrived at mother base. Supply drop complete. complete. He's coming too. Roger that. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Presence detected. The map has been updated.
subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Analysis complete. <laughs> Lisa supplies requested. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Supply drop complete. Post captured.
going to do. for a fistful of diamonds, huh? And what happens after that? They can't go home. They've only got two options. Heaven or hell. No, there's another. Please select a deployment point. Please select a deployment point. Analysis complete. complete. too far away from them.
The map has been updated. <laughs> Coming too. Roger that. Development project has been added. Extraction arrived at another base. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Roger that. Please select a deployment point. You gotta extract him. Analysis complete. Map analysis complete. Please supplies requested.
Supply drop complete. What uh, on the... Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. complete. Roger that. Support the chopper will be arriving any minute. Hurry to the RV. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Enemy presence detected. 
The map has been development project has been added. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. What you thinking, boss? I'm thinking that he's tougher than he looks. A little training, he'll make himself useful. Never like kids. Especially ones with guns. <coughs> See, kids are natural. No. He's no natural. Far from it. <laughs> you probably noticed on the way in we've expanded housing. They'll have their own quarters, separate from ours. Won't be counted as staff. So what, we're running a daycare now? They'll learn how to read and write. Do basic jobs. A chance at a real life. Just not from behind a gun. Being behind a gun's what we do, boss. There's no room for angels in our heaven. Development project has been added. 